like, what's happening? Bob and ripping and running. Just getting back to the crib. So we watch more, we eat and do all kind of stuff or whatever. So what I want to talk to y'all about is Marvel's Black Panther. And man, we've been hearing all this about Black Panther things going to do all kind of numbers and Black black uh, Marvel film and controversy. Kind, kind of controversy. You know, they have racist stuff and stuff. And is it going to do these numbers and this and that? And talking about how good it is and ah, blase, blase. So, my thoughts on it. Man, that shit was incredible. Poor A. Marvel's Black Panther. From the, the cast. The cast. The, the, the characters. The storytelling. The soundtrack. The special effects. Like, one thing with, with like a black movie and stuff. You think that a Marvel would would make a black movie and they have a uh, cougar or whatever to do to be in director or something you you automatically think well man they ain't gonna do be off, off off chain with the special effects and all that and stuff and you think they're gonna they're gonna short change them pretty much nah cougar it shows that man if, if you give like a lot black people we make the most out of a out of a little bit we make soul food and all kind of stuff like that, hey. So, you you give us a, a little bit, we're gonna make a lot. So he had a big budget. Hey, he knocked Barry Bonds, he knocked that shit out the park. For real. Hey, I can't think of the names right now. The only name I, I really know off the top is Michael B. Jordan. But Michael B. Jordan, Killmonger, hey, that nigga was trill. And I watched the Breakfast Club interview with I can't think of his name, the one that played Black Panther. And he was talking about, yeah, I kind of would, if I would be either one of the characters, I kind of would think more of Killmonger. Killmonger is more, he's kind of like a Huey P. Newton, Malcolm X type brother. Like he's militant. He's like, they've been holding us back all these years. We want to do this. Huh. So Killmonger is a G. Killmonger is a G, man. But you want to root for me, I want to root for the hero. So I'm a Black Panther fan. And the thing that the thing that made uh, I'm a Black Panther fan now and stuff. I, I've been a fan of comic books and stuff, but I always read like Spider Man and X Men and Spawn, Wolverine, Blase Blase, stuff like that. Like, I've never been big on Black Panther, so it was it was a plus because when I go into certain movies, when I go in certain movies, I'll be like, uh, that's not that's not right. Like Wolverine, I'll be like, that's. That should have did went like this and I'm going to Spider-Man be like, ah, they did this. That's not how they went. Like Black Panther, I Googled Killmonger because I wanted to see like the character and stuff like that. Like his his uh his role in the comic books and stuff. So I Googled that a little bit, but as far as like the comic books, I don't know too much. I've been reading like the newer ones, but I don't know like the history of Black Panther. So when I watched the movie, it was refreshing. It was a fresh, new experience. So I, I got to, to know the character on screen rather than having a, a, a notion of him beforehand. Like Spider-Man, I want Spider-Man, I want the Spider-Man I read and in my mind to be like that on the movie. And on this case, I was allowed to see Black Panther for who he was in the movie and appreciate it. But that made the movie that much better to me. And Man, just just the, the the cinematic experience with the movie, dog. Man, the the special effects and stuff when they when they ride into Wakanda in the city is beautiful. The special effects and stuff, man. And they got the African the African stuff. At the beginning of the movie, man, when I seen they they had certain scenes, and then whenever they showed like all the black pe the black people and stuff, he was uh getting crowned king, and so everybody had had the they markings and stuff like that, man. It it swelled my heart up, man, because I'm like, look at us, man. Like our roots and stuff, man. It, like Africans and we, the talk of the town. Like that was a big, like that was so dope to me. But it was just, it was just a beautiful thing, man. Like I, I loved it. And watching the movie, in 
like I, I clown with certain people or like I'm from Louisiana and I got a lot of white people on Facebook and stuff like that. And I see like the comments and stuff like that. Like I was in a Louisiana theater. It was it was maybe maybe 60% white and 40% black or it might have been 50-50. But they had a lot of white people in there and they were reacting to the movie. I was walking I wanted to kind of gauge the reaction. When I walked out of the movie, out of the film, they had like two little white girls and stuff walking. Man, that was that was beautiful, man. That was that was my best experience of 2018 so far. Like that that's a direct quote of somebody that was on the side of me. That was my that was my best experience of 2018 right now. That movie was was cold. Uh, that's not exactly what she said. Not cold, but that movie was incredible. <laughs> so I th I think it's it's gonna do numbers. The reviews and stuff, they are right. Like if you've been seeing reviews and been seeing Charlemagne the God and different people and stuff, man, this movie is off chain and stuff. It's not just because it's a black, it's not necessarily a black movie, but just the, the way they put it together, this movie would have been cold whatever it was, man. If it was a Mexican, if it was a China man, if it was a white man, so whoever it was, this movie right here, I don't do this. Now y'all know. My channel isn't based on movie reviews and stuff, but I do movie reviews whenever I go watch something or something is, is interesting to me, a Netflix series or whatever, I'll give my take on it. So, y'all have seen me so far, the ones that have watched me, and most of what I give, I didn't give like six point something, I didn't give 8.5, sevens. Get ready. I'm, it's not some prisoner of the moment stuff. You got it. You got it. 10 out of 10. Perfect rate. This movie right here. The best. Quote me. Quote me. Direct quote. This is the best Marvel movie yet. The best Marvel movie ever so far Avengers of Infinity War is coming they got in the previews they got Ant-Man and Wasp is gonna be coming uh Deadpool is gonna be coming they 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 have a few few dropping but Thor was the last Thor was off the chain this right here this the best one I've seen so far out of every Marvel movie out of all the Spider-Mans out of X-Men not necessarily, Marvel movies is Marvel characters, but you know, you know, Fox and different things. But uh, this is the best one. So that's my take on the movie, man. If you have not seen this, go watch it. Treat yourself, treat your, your family, your kids, your wife, your dog, whoever wanna go watch it, hey, bring them, me and my home. It, it was, it was a beautiful experience because I'm from a little country town. I went to the to the city where watch a movie. Me and my homeboy went. We met up with my other homeboy. Like, we didn't know he was gonna be there. He was there. Then another dude I'm cool with from another town. Like we met up with him over there. So it was like everybody converging and stuff to go go see Black Panther. So it was a beautiful experience. I was very happy. Go watch it. Fuck with me. Like, comment, subscribe, and be the greatest of the most hated.